Hello friends, welcome to today's tutorial. In the previous tutorial, we have covered one of the important concepts of the Kafka, where we saw how the topic partitions work, what is leader broker, what is the role of follower brokers, and how the partitions happen in the Kafka. So today, we are going to cover what is consumer group, and we will see the how the partition is assigned to consumers which is present in a group so let us start what is consumer group a group consumer group is basically a set of one or more consumers working together in parallel to consume the masses from the topic partitions in order to consume the masses from the topic partitions there are number of consumers working together in a group so that we call it consumer group so here masses are equally divided among all the consumers of a group with no two consumers receiving the same masses so here the masses are equally di distributed among the consumers in which is present in the group and here the kafka also makes sure that two consumers will not get the same masses now let us see how the distributing partitions to consumers within a consumer group how the partitions are get equally distributed among the consumers within a consumer group. So here Kafka ensures that only a single consumer reads a message from any partitions within a consumer group. So what it means that if suppose there is a group, one consumer group, for example, here if you see there is a group of two consumers which, which we call consumer group one. So here Kafka ensured that only one consumer will able to only one consumer in a group will able to access or read the message for one partition. So for example, partition one message is read by the consumer one, which is present in consumer group one. Here consumer two is not allowed to read the same partitions which already have, which already are reading by the consumer one. So if you understand in a different way, like consumer two is responsible for reading the partition two. So this partition two is not allowed to read by the consumer one because both consumer one and consumer two are present in single group. So that is the meaning of this line. Kafka ensured that only a single consumer reads the message from any partitions within a consumer group right so in the other word topic partitions are unit of parallelism only one consumer can work on a partition in a group at a time right so here consumer one is working on a partition one so at this point of the time uh, the consumer two which is present in same group is not allowed to read the message of the partition one because already consumer one is involved in reading the message of partition one so if a consumer stops consumer spread the partitions across the remaining consumers in the same consumer group so let us assume that consumer one has stopped working so in this case the consumer two will also start reading the message from the partition one along with the partition two so similarly every time consumer is added to or removed from the group the cons consumption is rebalanced within the group so that is how it works so if you understand with this uh, complete diagram so here the producer one which is used to publish a message on the kafka broker which consists of two partitions like topic is divided into two partitions partition one and partition two some of the messages get published in the partition one and some of the messages get published in partition two. Now here in the right side, there are two consumer groups are present. The consumer group one and another one is the consumer, consumer group two. So in the consumer group one, there are total two consumers are present, which are responsible for reading the messages from the Kafka broker. And in the case of consumer group two, there is only one consumer. So if you see, According to the first line, Kafka ensured that only one, only a single consumer read the message from any partitions 
within a consumer group so here in the consume consumer one is responsible for reading the uh, messages from the partition one so it will not uh, so in so at this point the consumer two is not allowed to read the message of partition one because it is already reading uh, messages get read by uh, some of the same member of the group so this is whole diagram is explaining like how the things are uh, working, how the write operation and how the read operation is working. Now let us understand. Consumer pulls the message from the topic partitions. Different consumers can be responsible for different partitions. Kafka can support a large number of consumers and retain the large amount of the data within a very little overhead. So by using the consumer groups, consumer can be work in a parallel so that the multiple consumers can read from multiple partition on the topic since here we made as a group like we assign the we actually be assigned the consumer in a group and make them work in a parallel because of this the whole uh, the masses throughput will become very high so the number of the partition impacts consumer maximum by parallelism we achieve as there cannot be more consumers than a partitions now kafka store the current offset per consumer group per topic per partitions offset is what if you remember offset is nothing but the unique id assigned to the masses published masses on the kafka broker so kafka store the current offset number or the unique identity number of the message per consumer group per topic per partition as it would for single consumer this means that unique messages are only sent to a single consumer in a consumer group and the load is balanced across the consumers as equally as possible so when the number of consumer exceeds the number of partitions in the topic all the new consumers wait in a idle mode until a existing consumers unsubscribe from that partitions in the case when the number of consumer get exceeded as per the number of partitions so in this case the some of the consumer has to wait until some of the consumer unsubscribe to that partition so similarly, new consumer joins the consumer group. Kafka initiate a rebalancing if there are more consumers than partitions. So Kafka uses any unused consumer consumers to consume the messages. Here is the summary of how Kafka manages the distribution of partitions to the consumer within a consumer group. So if you see, if the scenario is that the number of consumer in a group is equal to number of partitions, then each consumer consume one partitions. Okay, each consumer will consume the masses of one partitions. But this, if the second scenario is there, like number of consumer in the group is greater than number of partition, then some of the consumer will has to wait in the idle state. The last one is like possible scenario is that number of consumer in the group is less than the number of the partitions. Then some of the consumer will consume more partitions than the other. If you see the example of third one in the group consumer group two, there is only one consumer, but there are total two partitions. So single consumer is only responsible for consuming the messages of partition one as well as for partition two. But if you consider that this scenario, like if you see this consumer group one, there are total two consumers and each consumers are responsible for consuming the partitions because here number of partition is equal to number of consumer. So that uh, that is the second mm, that is like first scenario number of consumers in a group is equal to number of the partitions. Then each consumer consume the one partition. So that is all about the consumer groups. So the, to summarize, what are the things we have learned? We saw what is consumer group and how the partitions are assigned to the consumer within a consumer group. So that's it for this today tutorial. We will cover more important things like we, in the next tutorial, we are going to cover the 
Kafka workflow, how the Kafka work. So that's all. Thank you so much for watching today's tutorial.